to take the robo taxi here in Austin. Uh, when, when I was visiting um, for the shareholder meeting, it was incredible. It makes it so fun to just boop and bop around Austin. It's like so cheap. It's like a third to maybe even on, only a quarter of the cost of Uber. Like a ride across town is like six bucks. Short ride could be like three bucks. Part of the shareholder meeting was we got a tour. One of the first things they showed us on the tour is how to build the cyber cab, this new unboxed vehicle manufacturing process. So not just the cyber cab is totally different and drives itself and is a new vehicle for Tesla. But once again, most of the important innovation is what Tesla's done on the back end in terms of actually production. So we walk in on the tour and they show these like carts that kind of come together with all the pieces of the car and assemble it. So Elon Musk is hinting that this is much more similar to manufacturing of something like an iPhone, you know, a, a very high volume consumer device than it is even a car. So I think the Optimus or the, the cyber cab is is revolutionary from this manufacturing perspective. I mean, it looked so cool in person. This is probably the closest that I've ever been to the cyber cab. It looks gorgeous in person. The screen's bigger. The seat looks comfier. It has a massive wheels. Everything about the cyber cab, it's, it's only supposed to go around 90 miles an hour. Everything about this cyber cab is designed to go and be for maximum comfort and efficiency and, and low cost per mile on the road. So it's a totally different beast than Tesla cars, which drive ex extremely fast and are cool. This has huge wheels. It's built for comfort. It's built to be extremely cheap to manufacture and operate on a per mile basis. So I think it's really interesting to see Tesla really go all in on autonomy here and design this from scratch as a car that's never meant to have a steering wheel. So, um, and then, you know, you think about the cyber cab is when is this actually going to come to market? Tesla's saying that in 2020, April, 2026, they're actually going to start and be ramping production of this thing. So it's coming pretty soon, just six months away from the start of production. Um, they're also hinting uh, that they want to get removing the safety driver um, from the Austin Robo Taxi by the end of the year. That would be a huge milestone because right now there's always a driver in the car with you or sort of safety monitor. So I think getting moving on from beyond that is going to be a huge deal.